Why did Adele cross the road to say hello from the other side? Today, I'm going to recap a 2017 action thriller film called Instant Death. As the film commences, we are introduced to the protagonist, John Bradley, who is engaged in a conversation with his psychiatrist concerning his mental state. We learn that John is a retired special forces officer who now spends much of his time in solitude. His psychiatrist recommends that he visit his daughter and granddaughter as it would be beneficial for his mental well-being. John remains silent as it has been a long time since he last saw his daughter. Returning home, John gathers his belongings and prepares to travel to the UK to reunite with his family. The scene then shifts to John's daughter, Jane, who leads a simple life with her only child. Jane works for a cleaning service at a company, while her child attends a nearby school. Jane's days are quite hectic, but she handles it all with grace, confident that her life will improve someday. Simultaneously, a gangster named Razor inquires with a drug dealer about procuring illegal substances, as this individual should have become a regular client of Razor's gang. The story returns to John, who has arrived in the UK and contacts his old friend Neil, a colonel, to schedule a meeting. John visits his late wife's grave, vowing to protect their daughter always. Meanwhile, Razor and his gang continue their search for the rival drug dealer. Upon locating him, Razor eliminates him to protect his territory. By chance, John witnesses Razor and his gang in action. Some of Razor's henchmen pursue John, unaware of his military background and his ability to defeat any opponent. Upon learning that John has killed his men, Razor swears vengeance. When John reaches Jane's flat, he is greeted with a warm embrace as they have not seen each other in quite some time. John promises never to leave her side again. The following day, John escorts his granddaughter to school before purchasing groceries to prepare a meal at home. Unbeknownst to him, several gang members tail him, eventually reporting his location to Razor. In exchange for the information, Razor rewards them with drugs to enjoy together. While having lunch with his family, John announces that he will be away on duty for a few days, causing Jane to become disheartened. John gives his granddaughter a pendant as a memento of him and her late grandmother. Fearing abandonment, Jane asks John to assure her that he will remain safe for the sake of their family. Upon observing John depart, Razor resolves to devastate John's life by tormenting his family. Razor and his gang infiltrate the flat with ease, brutalizing and assaulting Jane. Then, Razor enters the room of Jane's daughter, committing an unspeakable act. To make matters worse, they document their vicious deeds inflicted upon John's family. At this point, Razor realizes that John is no ordinary man as he discovers a photograph of John in his Special Forces uniform. Unexpectedly, one night, Colonel Neal visits John and escorts him to an undisclosed location. John is now aware of the atrocities his family has suffered. His grief is compounded when Colonel Neal brings him to see his deceased granddaughter. John inquires of Jane who the perpetrator was, and she reveals it was the gangster ruling their flat. Without hesitation, John sets off to exact vengeance on those responsible. Meanwhile, sensing his safety is in jeopardy, Razor instructs one of his henchmen to assume control of the flat as he plans to leave temporarily. John arrives at Jane's flat to examine the crime scene now under police investigation. He encounters an idle officer but receives no valuable information. However, upon leaving the flat, John crosses paths with one of Razor's men. Overcome by fear, the man discloses the location of their hideout in a nightclub. Upon reaching Razor's base, John confronts Cooper, Razor's boss, and the area's primary drug lord. Recognizing that John is a lethal adversary, Cooper orders his men to attack. Realizing the danger he's in, Cooper pleads for his life, insisting he never authorized Razor to harm John's family. Nevertheless, John shows no mercy to those who have tormented his loved ones. Soon after, the police arrive at the club, only to find the carnage left by John. Police Chief Fisher contacts Colonel Neal to gather more information about John. Colonel Neal explains that John is a deadly killing machine, doubting the police's ability to apprehend him. Concurrently, Razor receives a call from Cooper's phone, which is now in John's possession. John warns Razor of the impending danger, but Razor remains unfazed. 
Razor then approaches an assassin named Cooper, proposing a collaboration to establish a new enterprise. Cooper declines, aware that Razor is being pursued by a formidable killer. Cunning and resourceful, Razor anticipates John tracking him via GPS on his phone. As a result, he plants his phone at Cooper's location, expecting John to arrive there. Before departing Cooper's hideout, Razor orders several henchmen to surveil the area. As anticipated, while Razor departs Cooper's hideout, John arrives to confront those present, believing Razor to be among them. Cooper had been expecting John's arrival. However, John is not interested in negotiation and, recognizing Cooper as a threat, promptly eliminates him in accordance with the movie's title. Following the bloodbath, John encounters one of Razor's henchmen assigned to watch the location. Capturing the man before he can escape, John detains him in a warehouse for questioning. The man reveals Razor's plan to betray his boss and establish his own drug operation. Consequently, Razor intends to eliminate John, the sole witness to his activities, in order to leave no evidence of his impending scheme. Meanwhile, Razor meets with a new distributor from Russia to discuss an incoming shipment. Unbeknownst to him, John covertly approaches to end Razor's reign of terror. As a precaution, John contacts the police to apprehend Razor. He then confronts Razor by throwing the captured henchman before him, signaling the beginning of John's vengeance. Realizing John has come for him, Razor hastily retreats, guarded by numerous henchmen. However, John effortlessly dispatches them, all the while pursuing Razor. The police arrive to assist John in capturing Razor, but John prefers to face his family's tormentor alone. At this point, Razor reveals he took the pendant John gifted to his granddaughter as a souvenir of his sadistic satisfaction in killing a child. John ultimately kills Razor and willingly surrenders to Police Chief Fisher. Colonel Neal arrives to bid farewell to John, secretly providing him with a key to escape his handcuffs. The film concludes with Jane, overjoyed to hear her father's voice on the phone, knowing he has avenged their family against Razor. After inquiring about his daughter's well-being, John hangs up and vanishes into the unknown. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.